Hi and welcome! My name is Tolan and I'm the co-founder of Productivity Me. In this video, we're going to look at how to close your current workbook within Excel without closing the application of Excel itself. We're going to look at primarily the keyboard shortcut of Control F4, but we'll also examine a few other methods in order to achieve this same result. So with that, let's get started. I'm going to click on the Excel icon here in my quick launch toolbar in order to launch and open Excel. We're then going to create a new document here. And if we wanted to close, say, this document, but not the application of Excel, the fastest way to do this would to be use the keyboard shortcut Control F4. By pressing Control key and the F4 function key, it will exit out of that document, but it will leave the application of Excel here running. The advantage of doing this is that you can then hit Control N to create a new document, or again, we'll press Control F4 to close. You can press Control O in order to open an existing document, such as this document here, which is test123 version seven. Now, I find it hard to remember all of these keyboard shortcuts. In fact, I've never been able to remember all of these keyboard shortcuts, even though I teach a course on it. So if I were to forget, the way that I would want to achieve the same result is by coming to the file menu, clicking on the file menu, and then going to close. If you select the close choice there, again, you'll achieve the same result that you would get to if you had used Control F4. Again, when you go to file, close, it will close that document, but it will leave Excel running. Now, as you might guess, there is a alternative third way to do this. You can press the Alt key in order to activate your access keys. You can press F for the file menu and then C for close. And that too would close your current document, but leave the program of Excel running. So again, in this video, we looked at three ways to achieve this result. If you press Control F4, it will close the current document, but leave Excel running. If we had a document open and then we pressed, or rather clicked on the file menu and then click close, that would close our document. And lastly, if we press the Alt key, the F key and the C key, that too would close our document while leaving Excel running. So of these three choices, I recommend you pick the one that you're most comfortable with and then slowly grow your asset knowledge or your base knowledge of, of different ways to achieve the same result one at a time. In our next video, we'll look at how to close the application of Excel as well as the document or Excel file that you have open. We'll use the Alt F4 keyboard shortcut in order to achieve this. So join us for that in the next video. Thanks for watching.